This is the first in a series of three films about anaerobic fungi and is a general introduction to these microorganisms. The fungal kingdom contains both macrofungi and microfungi, and there is one unusual phylum of microfungi called Neocalamastigomycota, or more commonly, anaerobic fungi. Anaerobic fungi were first observed in the four stomach of ruminants in the early 1900s but were mistakenly identified as flagellated protozoa. In the early 1970s, Colin Orpin discovered that the flagellated protozoa were actually motel fungal zoospores and were just one part of the anaerobic fungal life cycle. His finding challenged the belief of the time that all fungi respired. Anaerobic fungi are unusual as they couple the metabolism of glucose to cellular energy production without the need for oxygen. They do this by using hydrogenosomes instead of mitochondria. Anaerobic fungi are commonly cultured from the digestive systems of large herbivorous mammals. Herbivores that have either a four-stomach fermentation of plant material, like these, or hindgut fermenters, such as these. Anaerobic fungi have been most extensively studied in the rumen of cattle and sheep, which are foregut fermenters. How important are anaerobic fungi to their host? Well, anaerobic fungal activity in the rumen increases dry matter digestibility of feed by 7 to 9%. As a consequence of this, they also enable ruminants to increase their fibrous feed intake. This significant impact is perhaps not surprising when we consider that anaerobic fungi can represent up to 20% of the rumen microbial biomass and are the most potent fibre degrading organisms in the known biological world. This is due to their wide array of plant degrading enzymes, which exist as free enzymes and highly efficient multi enzyme complexes called cellulosomes. As well as this, their invasive growth physically disrupts plant structural barriers. If you would like to know more about anaerobic fungi, you can follow or get in touch with the Anaerobic Fungal Network. Thank you for watching.